Welcome back, family, to the Lucky Die. Previously, Balance is given an offer. Ra bodily protects his friend. Pintor confesses his intent, as Zoltana gets some coffee. Pintor finally meets his brother, only to have to give Balance an intriguing offer from the Queen of the Dwarves. With only a few of their powerful allies around, the group head into the temple below Falsen to find help for Zoltana and Adet. Will Balance forsake Kythea for power? Will Pintor forsake power for Renala? But who really has the power to help end the Sandman? I guess you're about to find out. Welcome back to the Lucky Die. man who's standing at Kythea's workstation nods and he smiles and he says yes yes the potion is ready how many of you are going to be taking it clearly you and he points at Sultana yeah I'm sorry what what potion the potion allows you to get into her dreams Uh, can they all come in yeah And if you want to fight the Sandman either dream, you're going to need to be in the dream. You're going to be functional in the dream. Not just like, hey, it's a dream where you have no real control. And it's a little more nuanced than sending or message or dream. Okay, well, whatever we need to do, I'll take whatever potion you want me to. I just... I got it. I can't stay up any longer. It's this is fucking insane. No. I know it was it, my idea, but I got fuck. If we go in and defeat the Sandman, will that assumably free Odette then? So long as the Sandman who's marked Sultana is the same one as marked Odette, yeah. I don't see why not. Fantastic. And apart from that, the worst that'll happen is that Sultana will be free, and Odette will be as she is. Best thing, kill a Sandman and they're both okay. All right. Well, I'll be there to help you, Sultana. Okay. Ugh. Hey, okay, potion. I don't know if any of, uh... Well, we can't really ask any of the rest of you to help us, and Kaithia, I... Kind of would rather prefer that you were here. There's a couple of side effects you might need to know. We'll have to strap you down. Because most of the actions you make in the dream, you'll make in the real world too. Mm, really? You become sleepwalkers. So we'll just need to look after you. We'll have someone keeping an eye on each of you. I'll, I'll stay with you, Balance, and... So if uh, if we die in the dream, do we die in real life? Of course. Sandman rules apply. Figures. Um. I'll go with you. Um. You look like you need help. And you look like you can use as much help as you can muster right now. Renala takes you by the arm. She pulls you away just a little bit. She says... Are you, like, sure? Yeah. But you stay here. Stay here with Thaket. I'll be back. Don't worry. And Pintor kind of gives, like, a slightly unsure smile. 
She looks thoroughly unconvinced, but nods. I guess I'll... I guess I'll stay and keep an eye on your body then. Um, if... If you're sure that you would like to help us, then... I welcome it. I will be keeping an eye on you. Understand? Of course. Um, are you particularly skilled in battle? Um, yeah. I've trained a bit. I'm, uh... Can trust him with a bow, though? All right. Oh, well, that runs in the family, apparently. <laughs> apparently yes. it does. Okay, thank you. It does run in the family. Thank you. <laughs> a much better, a much better with a rapier. Who trained you? Dad. Ah, <laughs> uh, he had to actually put the work in with you then. Oh. Yes, he did. Oh, that must have been right wonderful. It was uh, something. He was a little times, rusty. Did you knock at him first. on his ass. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> A blatant lie. Well then. Okay. Um, uh, the the man. Uh, he he gestures for you guys to sit down, um, lay down somewhere. Um, Ra lays down and takes his hoodie off because that's going to need to go over whatever is holding him down because it'll just fucking melt. <laughs> 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 so you, you see all of Raw's fucking gnarly scars for a minute. It's super gross, guys. These are years and years and years of scars. Um, for the two of you, probably never. No, I think you two did one. Yeah, we've seen it. We've seen um, them. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's covered in scars, Pintor. Um, from like his lower jaw, pretty much halfway down to his stomach, is covered in like uh, like acid type burns that are barely healed over. Um, it looks super gross. Um, Ranala stays with Pintor. Uh, Benno is going to stay with Adet um, because that makes sense to him. Uh, Kythea will sit with Balance. Um, and the strange... Uh, no. And Thakit offers to stay with Ral. I'm pretty strong. I could probably hold you down if you need to. Don't get acid on you. The jacket and the thing they want, you can use those. He uh, he taps on his armor, uh, knocks knocks his uh, knuckles together, which are armored. He's like, as long as it don't burn through this, you and me are gonna be alright, brother. If it's magic as a proof, then you'll be okay. Definitely magic. Um, Kythea or. Balance is going to look at Kythea and just say, kind of quietly, he doesn't really want anyone else hearing can, him. Yeah, he'll, he'll just message. say it telepathically then. Um, telepathically, he'll tell her, you should probably have some sort of fire blankets or something. I've been practicing some new things. <laughs> I don't want to burn you. She has a very wide eyes open look, nods, and uh, looks over at the doorway. And uh, she's clearly passing a message to um, another, another uh, tiefling, um, pale tiefling. And they, they scarp her off, you assume, to do the bidding. Um, yeah. It's, it's okay. I, I trust you, and I know that if you hurt me, it's not your fault, okay? Go save Sultana. I Kick will. this guy's ass. Oh, I plan and, uh, to. And uh, you like she just like gives you a kiss and then like settles you down. Uh, does Pintor see that? It's up to Pintor. Depends if he's looking at you or looking at Ranala. Um, I guess. <laughs> he's probably currently with Ranala, not paying attention because he's about to do a thing. He has no idea what he's about to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The human comes along and offers you, firstly, offers Zoltana the potion. Okay. Just going to need a couple of your hairs. 
So he reaches over and yanks out like far more than he actually needs. Shoves it into the potion. Um, it's like, good, 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 good. Now, uh, pours, uh, takes the potion over, pours it into three separate glasses um, and brings them over to one to each of you. It's like, this is going to taste utterly disgusting, but drink up, chaps. You got it. And Sultana swigs it down. Raw drinks it. He doesn't really notice it's disgusting. You do not notice it's disgusting, but for the elves with our higher sense of taste, this is super foul. Balance does like the, the nose pinch drink to try yep. to at least <laughs> make it I palatable. Turn, I turn to, I turn to th- uh, think it and I'm like, hey, this tastes like you're cooking. Oh. <laughs> if you don't go to sleep, I'm going to knock you out. Like. <laughs> um, Sultana. It's really not long before you go to sleep. Now you basically have permission to fall asleep. Oh, yeah. It takes moments and you are unconscious. I need the other three of you to each roll a d20. Just a straight d20. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want to see. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> A natural like for one. A twenty, also in the family. <laughs> oh, apparently, that's just everyone tonight. <laughs> I got a nine. I got an God eight. God damn it! Okay, all well, twenty uh, hates me. That's cool. Um, this is slightly unfortunate for Zoltana, but okay. You know what? Got a roll one. twenty. Balance got roll twenty eight. hates hates you. Runs in the family, also. Yep. Yep. Exactly what I said. <laughs> I hope you have a lot of abilities that do saving throws, Bucky, because otherwise you're fucked. <laughs> we'll find out. So, Tana, I need you to roll a wisdom save for me, please. Yep, yep. We're all gonna die. We're that was a 25. Natural That's a natural 20. What the fuck? That was a nat 20. Jesus effing Christ. You've put Casey um, inside of her natural element, which is an, horror 80s, movies. Hor- an 80s horror movie specifically. <laughs> Don't fuck with that shit. I'm I'm gonna win. <laughs> okay. Now that I said that, I'm gonna lose. But of course, of course, uh, you never really okay. win it's... in a Nightmare on Elm Street movie, anyway. So like, you know. copyright. This is my world, you little bitch. Um, the rest of you gentlemen, uh, you see Zoltana drifting off to sleep, and she's as if she's in a very, very deep sleep. Um, her body is not flailing around. You'd assume that she's not going to be the one that needs to be restrained. Um, each of you begin to drift off one by one, and you will join Sultana when I say. Sultana, with your goddamn natural 20. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God's sake. Um, you find yourself in a very kind of bizarre dreamscape. You're standing in a hall, a big open hall. There are passages to the left and to the right in front of you there's a very big stained glass window the stained glass is nothing particular just a a tree some apples paperwork that kind of thing that's about all that's on there and ahead of you just underneath this stained glass window is a bed and on this bed lays Odette what do you want to do? uh rushing over to Odette as you rush over to Odette The bed drops, drops down, completely disappears from view. You run over and you can't stop yourself. You jump down in the hole after her and you land on solid ground. And as you open your eyes, you see that there's grass all around you. The sun is very high in the sky and the sky is a very bizarre shade of deep purple. It's not night. The sun is out, clearly, but what the fuck is this? Ahead of you, you see that there is a deck some very far distance off. And she's walking, her her white gown is just being pulled pulled away by the, the tall grass that she's walking into, and you see it laying on the ground. What do you want to do? Okay, Sandman, we play in your court. And she starts walking towards Odette. 90% of this is just going to be me quoting Nancy Thompson. <laughs> Casey, you're going to piss off uh, the copyright gods again. Can't do it! Can't not do it! This is all Volanda's fault. You're welcome. You run after Odette into the tall grass and you pick up her her robe. 
And as you look up, she's gone. But as you look up, you see that there is a tidal wave coming towards you. What are you gonna do? Uh, run away from it. As you turn and run away from the tidal wave, it's in your face and it engulfs you and you're now underwater, struggling to breathe. Ahead of you, you see there is a cave underneath the water and you can see that there is Adette swimming away from you. I guess I'm gonna... I'm gonna swim after her. As you swim after her and you swim through the cave, you find yourself... You find that as you swim upwards, that there's an air bubble. You pull yourself out onto open grounds and you find yourself in a small house. And as you look behind you, the water has disappeared. You're just in this small room. There's a, a bed, a double bed. And on that double bed, Odette is lying. She is asleep. As you go forward to reach for her, to join her, it's as if the room suddenly elongates and you can never quite reach her as the bed just keeps moving further and further out of place. The walls themselves become dark. They become shadow creatures with red eyes and wings. But the bed is always just too far out of reach. It's just beyond you. And then you begin to hear whispers. You hear Dravos saying, she looks beautiful when she sleeps. You hear Benno whispering, she's going to hate you once she finds out what you are what you've done. You hear Balance say, I've looked at all the evidence. There is no way an individual as good as her will stay with someone as, well, murderous as you. You hear Raal say, you're a double one. Look, you still have the tattoo. And I kill double ones. You hear Elise say, you made me a killer. You infect everything you touch and you're going to infect her too. And you hear Squash's voice. Are you going to kill me too? And just at that moment, Raoul appears next to you. Raoul, you are in this dreamscape. There is a bed just out of reach with Odette laying on it. You can see all the shadow creatures around you. You can hear all these voices echoing over and over. Raw kind of uh, kneels down to be closer to Zoltana's height. Uh, because one, he's scared of all these shadowy things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zolt Zoltana? I don't care if they are right. What? What it is. But... Hey, Z Zoltana? What? Oh, Hi. Ral. Um. Hi. In the in the uh, in the news, any luck? At that moment, balance appears on the other side of you. Oh. Well, this is a cute Paula trick. Yeah, real cute. All right, Sandman, get the fuck out here. Enough games. At that point, Pintor appears next to the three of you. What a fucking bloody hell is all this shit? I know, right? Whoa. It took you long enough to get here. Jesus. <laughs> As the three of you have now fully appeared, um, the bed stops moving. Stops moving away from you. The walls disappear into darkness. There's no floor, there's no walls, there's just the bed. And standing on the bed, standing over the very still form of Odette, is the Sandman. He has a tall skeletal frame. He has very long, bony limbs. He's covered in delicate golden runes and black smoke makes up his loincloth and his short cloak. His head is skeletal here, and he has a dark, 
basically a dark mohawk made out of shadows and flies. And he stands in front of you all, very tall, over a debt, smiling. Um, are we equipped? You have upon you no armor. You have upon you a single weapon of your choice. Oh. Great sword. I will allow you just to use the basic stats of Kalimon because that's like the weapon you associate most with. Um, you can have that because you natted the fuck out of that wisdom check. Also, uh, because I was going to ask for that anyway. <laughs> yes, you natted the fuck. You can have Kalimon as written because that's how you associate. Um, everyone else has a single weapon of choice. Um Ral, you have your, your fists, your tail, and your feet. Can my weapon be Kythea's potion? <laughs> a glass bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want to smash that one in your hand, though. Oh, she's make, considering it. <laughs> make, I'm considering it. It's it's going to be a rough DC, because you've only used it once, and unlike Sultana's like, crit, like that is her weapon, that's her associated weapon. Yeah. This is going to be super difficult for you, but I will allow you to make an intellect check. <laughs> oh, um, the DC is 19. Oh, okay. Intellect check. Yes. So I have to get a 19 or a 20. <laughs> it, I smoke oh, like it's an crime. 8. And also I rolled with advantage accidentally. So it's it's nothing. It's even worse. <laughs> no. no. You you, you think about it, but nothing nothing appears to you, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Worth um, a try. Uh balance. Hi. What do you have? Um I guess one of the plus one daggers I got. Uh make a intellect check for me, please. Uh you can have a set advantage. DC is nineteen. Eleven. So, nope. Nope. That's okay, as long as I have my brain. Yep, if you had chosen any of your normal weapons, you would have been fine. Um, (laughs) And Pintor. I have my rapier. Your bog standard, this is my rapier, rapier? Yep. Yep, then you have your bog standard, this is my rapier, rapier. Okay. These are the things you are outfitted with. Uh, Please make sure your stats reflect the fact that you don't have any armor, that you only have your singular weapon, of choice, well, balance you have your brain. What's your armor class without actual armor? <laughs> 10 plus your dex. 10 plus dex. 10 plus dex. So basically, I think you're just at a flat 10, Casey? I am at a flat 10. A. I have oh, no dexterity. Man. Should have taken that rapier. Can I? Can I? Well, I don't know that rapier very well, and I'll, I don't have the stats in my thing. And also, since I did crit, can I have armor? I mean, I came into this prepared. I crit my roll. What's your armor class? My armor class, as is, is 17. You can have 15. You can have some, but not all of it. Like, to, there's you, pieces missing. You also like, have you know. that cloak on there, too. So, like, mine yeah. only drops one from that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yours is just going to be 15. I'm going to let you ride that crit because, yeah, you are prepared and fuck this guy. Um, okay. All right. Um... He looks at you all. Sultana looks at him and goes, get off my wife. He smiles at you and he says, make me. And a second version of him appears next to him. All right. I'm going to need you guys to roll initiative. Fantastic. Uh, So balance yours is at 20. Yep. I got a dirty 20. I got a 12. Your brother got a 19. Get wrecked. All right, so the top around, we have Balance at 20. We have Pinter at 19, Ral at 12, Sandman at 7, and Sultana at 4. All right. We will call one of them Sandman 1 and one of them Sandman 2. Oh. So, Balance. Hi. Top of the round, what are you going to do? Fantastic. So, uh... (laughs) Balance is going to say, calling in reinforcements. Two can play that game very well. And Balance is going to swish his hand uh, through the air. And as he does so, a trail of fire 
starts spiraling out of his hand, and he's going to uh, use Animate Fire, which is uh, his new ability. Rollick's very surprised. Okay, uh, can you just click the link for me? So I can Absolutely. See also, I thought that you were going to just, like, imagine someone really hard <laughs> and have them appear in the dream. <laughs> Two can play at that game. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit and the whole thing stops. Um. I mean, the thing is, you're not that far off. It's just an actual ability. Um, so as an action, I cause a fire elemental to appear within 120 feet. Last until my concentration ends, and it obeys my verbal commands. It rolls its own initiative. <laughs> The whole okay. spiel. Okay. Okay. And I have the character sheet right here. Yep. Fun fact, fire elementals, they have a pretty good chunk of HP. Alright. Uh, roll its initiative and we'll bring it in. Alrighty. Uh, it's a 15. Okay, um, so as you swish your, your fingers in like a in like a circular-ish pattern, you create this kind of like vortex of fire just in front of you or wherever it is you're summoning to. Next to the Sandman, like right behind them. Next to the Sandman. Uh, right behind the sound um, on the bed. Not, yeah, that, not, not near Odette. Because it does have, uh, the aura. She is underneath them. <laughs> they are on the bed and so is she. Um, oh, wait a minute. No, it doesn't have an aura, right? It's just... I don't think so. Uh, I think it just does it... its thing. It's only if it enters a creature's space. Yeah. Okay. Well, it can stand, like, behind the bed. Um... It will have reach, I assume, if it goes to attack it. But yeah, like it, if it enters like uh, close enough to like hit, uh, yeah, basically, a debt is laying underneath them, um, so she's in their same square. Okay, it um, won't actually. Uh, it can go next to next to them because it doesn't okay. have an aura that would hurt her. That's fine. Um, yeah, so it uh, you basically create a swirling vortex of flame, um, and within this, you see this kind of creature. It's this kind of charred looking humanoid being from within like the cracks on this like charred humanoid form. You can see this fire just like spurting and gouting out as it opens its mouth and its eyes to breathe in this really bizarre dream world. You can see the fire just gouting and pouring from its mouth. Balance. You also hear in your ear Oh my god, what the bloody hell is that? As Renala just screams somewhere near you. Um, yeah, yeah, this is gonna be fun, yo. Um, okay, okay, let's 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 do this. Okay, is that your go? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to change my focus over uh, uh -huh. to the psychic assault focus. Yep. And uh, that will be my turn. Okay, uh, Pintor, your brother has just summoned a fire elemental. <laughs> Top that, bro. <laughs> well, I'm not, first off. I don't have fancy <laughs> magics I can use, so I'm already beat. Um, mm -hmm. So how far away are the twin Sandmans? 15 feet. Cool. Uh, I'm going to run to the side of one. Uh, okay. And I'm going to make sure that I'm only within five feet of it and nothing else. And I'm going to try and stabby stab. I need to ask, are you going to one or two, left or right? Uh, left. We'll go to the left okay, one. Okay, so that's one. Okay. So we'll go to the left one. And since I have Rakish Audacity, since I'm within five feet of him and I'm not within five feet of anything else, I get sneak attack. Yeah, uh, like uh, Adet doesn't count as a thingy in this because she's unconscious and not a threat or anything in this. So, yeah. Well, well, 10. <laughs> you go to stab at this one, um, but you completely miss. Uh, you, you go to like lunge forward and it, it doesn't even move. You just completely miss it. You think it's going to move into your strike, but nothing happens. Is there anything else you can do? Uh, yeah, I can move away from him and I don't provoke opportunity. So I'm going to kick off of his back and keep running around. Okay, that's that's totally fine. Um, I need to know where where do you end up roughly? Um, probably off towards the left from the party. Okay, all right. So you're out left, out to the side of them. Okay, I uh, assume that's the end of your go. Yeah, that's it. Okay, perfect. Um, it's now the fire elemental. What the, what the fuck is our cute little cute, cute guy doing? 
The fire elemental is going to take a multi attack on the uh, Sandman on the right, I guess. Okay, so that's two. Yep. Uh, two touch attacks. So number one is a thirteen to hit. Uh, it reaches out and just it's it completely misses. It just like grazes the back of it. Um, does nothing at all. And second is a natural twenty. God damn. Uh. The Sandman 2 kind of like laughs at the miss, but then as it kind of like flexes back into the place, um, the creature, the fire elemental just kind of like jumps up and like power slams into its back for a whopping... 17 fire damage. 17 damage. And he's on fire until someone takes an action to put him out. (laughs) I already like this. This is fun. Interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see what it is immune to. All right. Um, as it reaches out and sets fire to Sandman number two, uh, it's kind of like wispy cloak made of shadows begins to set on fire as it kind of like power slams into its back. But it's not as powerful as you might have hoped. That's fair. All right. That's its go. My God, that little thing is cool. Um, right. Okay. It's Sprouls go. Oh man, V. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna run up. Uh huh. And I'm gonna jump off the bed because she needs to wake her ass up, anyways. And I'm gonna use my springy bed jump to do a kick into this man's face, the Sandman. Which one? One or two? Uh, the one that's close to the bed. I think one was like... They're both on the bed. Oh. Let's do number one because uh, I just heard damage was done to number two. Okay. So I'll do the one that's not being fired at. (laughs) Do your attacks one at a time, please. Okay. Fifteen. As you go to punch it and you would have landed squarely... Your fist goes through it, and it disappears. Oh, damn. Too bad my foot was already on its way there as well for another 15. Does that hit? <laughs> the first Sandman, the one you attacked, disappeared because it was an illusion. Shit. Um, <laughs> yep. But I will allow you to basically kick flip the other dude in yeah, the face. I, uh, 15 hits. Raw sees the foot go... 15 hits? Oh, shit. Yes. Oh, I see what you've done. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, yeah, as, major as illusion, he sees like... <laughs> what has happened, he does this like twist of his body as he falls and whips his tail around to hit the other because he's kind of in the air. Um, <laughs> yep. 20 to hit for 11 damage. That the hits 15 also. was 10 damage. I forgot to say that. Yeah. Um, and then one more, two more. If you key point. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do Stunning Strike on that. On the one that you just did? Yes, the on the 20. 20. To hit. Yeah, because I said that I should not go back to do them. Spam them if I forget them. So we'll just do that. One. It rolled a... No, correction. It ended up with a 17. Okay, it's good then. Um, and then the last one is 28 for 11 damage. Uh, so in total, you did 32 damage. Woo! Your fists count as magic for they kind of thing? They are very magic, yes. They are very magic. Okay, cool beans. You did some good damage on that. We like it. Woo! It's now the Sandman's go. Takes 1d10 fire damage. Can you roll that, please? Yep. It is on fire. It's two fire damage. The ongoing fire seems to smolder a little and does very, very little in the way of damage. Yeah. All right. All right, let's figure out the stupid shit this guy can do. Okay. You see it lift its hands high. You see it move its hands in a way that's almost hypnotic to watch you see its hands blur through different 
dark colours, dark red, dark purple, dark blue. And it leaves behind them swirling, interesting patterns that your eyes can't help but follow. I need all of you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. (laughs) Is this a charm or effect that puts me to sleep? This is a charm. I have advantage then. Oh, I do too. Yeah. You do? Yep. Elf power. And though I have a 17 already. Oh, natural 20. There we go. <laughs> 23. Get wrecked. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> 11. <laughs> little you bit realize of, you're little two bit level of... higher than me. 12. Are we? So oh, you're two levels higher than me. Well, get yep. good. Get good, scrub. <laughs> Go take down the criminal organization's hideout, then talk to me. I'm a little 45-year-old boy. (laughs) While you two, like, team elf, jerk each other off. um, (laughs) Team No, no, an incest. No, V. (laughs) Stop it. (laughs) I'm drawing a line right right now. (laughs) Team not elf. You are under the effect of hypnotic pattern. What you see is you get just absolutely mesmerized by this color storm that's going off in front of you. Each creature who sees the pattern must make a wisdom throw, which you did. On a failed save, the creature becomes charmed for the duration. While charmed by this spell, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. Oh, wait a minute. What about the aura? Uh, Zoltana's aura. Does that help? No. Ooh. Higher than 15. Shit. Oh. It's spell DC. It's pretty high. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, the spell ends for an affected creature if it takes any damage or if someone else uses an action to shake the creature out of its sleep. Inverted commas. Sorry, stupor. Um, so you have to use an action to wake either one of them up, guys. Cool. There you go. So just skip my turn, I guess. <laughs> Uh, it's all time go. Her go is I over. I can't do shit. I'm sorry. He's an asshole. Well, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, balance. Sure go. Yes, it is. What are you doing? Uh, that's a very good question. I'm just gonna mind thrust him. Actually, no. Hmm. 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 No, because I kind of need my friends to do the attacking. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to do? Your brother is in... Could be... Oh, no, he's not in range. He jumped out of range. Yeah, but he could, could probably him... run back into range to get one of them. Yeah. Or just do a stabby. I don't really well, There's care. only one, right? Because the other one is illusion. Yeah. Yeah, one's disappeared. Yeah, that's one of them here. Yeah. Um, yeah, Balance is going to uh, gonna browse Zoltana. Okay. You're not gonna be able to arouse me, dude. I just it's not gonna happen. No, rouse. Not arouse. I know, I was uh, making a dumb joke. Stop it. Um he runs over, um yeah, and you shake Zoltana awake, uh her eyes snap open. Uh the fancy colours that you once saw Zoltana, like uh keeping you spellbound, they're gone. And, and then you I see his balance his face. And then I <laughs> back what? the fuck up. And guess what? Zoltana's <laughs> eyes are just a flame with rage. 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 Do, do, do that. Too many muscles for that. <laughs> <laughs> serious, serious question here. When is Zoltana going to multi-class into Barbarian? I'm <clears throat> waiting for it. You know what? I'll talk, I'm actually going to probably talk to V about that because it seems like a good idea. We will have to have You're conversations be a about dumb stuff. Um, Barbaladin. Yeah. Barbaladin. It's now your go. Hey, uh, so I'm going to run back and I'm going to rouse Rawl. Okay. And then I'm going to stay within range of this dude, and I'm going to kind of flank him with Ralshak. And that'll okay. be my turn. Cool. Yeah. Um, sounds excellent to me. <clears throat> um, it's now your fire elementals go, dude. Fantastic. Uh, fire elemental is uh, going to try to smack this dude upside the head a couple times. Okay. Go for it. Attack number one. 25 to hit for 11 fire damage. Uh, it, it takes a step back, runs forward, jumps on the bed, jumps up high and smacks this dude on the back of the head uh, for 11 fire damage. And then second one's a kidney shot. Because why not? 
Of course. 21 to hit for 11 fire damage. Yep, yep. Severely poked in the kidneys um, as you do 22 fire damage, but it doesn't seem quite as effective as you'd want it to be. Still better than nothing. It's, uh, Any damage it's is good damage. Something. And also, I'm a little proud. I like this. This is fun. I'll teach okay. it how to hug. What? Uh, <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No, you don't want you don't want it hugging. No, you mm-hmm. do not want no, to hug. But uh, we want no. to teach it to hug other people. Uh hmm. Okay. Hug enemies. Uh, let's see who's next. It's Ral's go. You have been. Oh boy. Woken up by someone who looks a lot like Balance, but with actually cooler hair. Ex- wow, <laughs> alright, stop it. <laughs> Not Fucking true. Stop it. <laughs> what you gonna do now, dude? Pintor's the one like the hate hate hair. hair. <laughs> you have like reverse frost tips. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's cool. <laughs> Please tweet us on the poll that's coming up on this episode. <laughs> reverse <laughs> Oh my tips. god, could Balance just become reverse Guy Fieri? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna take, take y'all to well, Psychic Town. We can't town. fucking cook, so at least he can like show Rao. us where the good spots are. <laughs> oh my god. It's your go. Yes. <laughs> Real good um, fire, guys. Now I don't have to <laughs> use an action to end an effect on myself that's causing me to be charmed or frightened. You so not? I can punch. I'm gonna punch. Um, I'm gonna keep jumping on the bed and punching. Okay. Um, Twenty-two to hit for seven. Where are you hitting him? Uh, in. Well, he's probably being distracted, so I'm gonna <laughs> kick him in the. I'm gonna jump up real high and I kick him in the cheek. Okay, cool. Definitely, I thought That's... you were gonna kick him in the nuts for a second. Kick him in the taint. Oh, <laughs> Please don't. We, we I'm not having this about again. That. Seven. Seven Take damage. Money. Um, yep. Let's go ahead and say that that kick is extremely hard and do a stunning strike, hopefully. Natural 20. Ooh. Son of a bitch. All right. Sorry. So I'm going to have to slow down on those. Uh, but I will do the three more punches. Yeah. 16 to hit for 6 damage, 12 to hit for 8, which probably don't hit, and 21 for 8. Uh, so you jump up and, like, jab him twice in the face. You jump up again and just kind of, like, he dodges his head, but you round him in the other side. Um, so you hit three times for that 7, 6, 13, plus 8 is 21. You do 21 damage, you Ooh. think. Spectre is scarier than you. Ha ha ha. Jumping out of bed. <laughs> God, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Um, you say that to him? <laughs> no. Ah. He looks at you. <laughs> you you just insulted him. What, what do you want Fine. him to do? It's a good insult. Sure. It's pretty I'll take, good. I'll take his attention. It's, it is pretty good. Um, he looks at you. He smiles wickedly and he says <laughs> I know what frightens you little man and I need you to gosh darn it hang on there may be a save but I'm not sure what it is hang on there may be I fucking oh I need you to make a wisdom saving throw please okay good <laughs> Neil I need you to succeed on this please oh man does a six do it? <laughs> do you know what? You don't even beat his bonus on that. <laughs> Shit. Man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wisdom um, not a good saving throw for me. You become frightened. Wait, how much did you get? Six. Oh, plus three from Zortok. Sort of, that's only nine. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. I was like, wait. Wait, no, this isn't going to work. Um... As you, as he says this to you, you become terrified of the vision that you see. You see Ama standing before you. All of his features have been replaced with hers. You see the dark shroud around her shoulders. You see her face beginning to slowly melt. 
and you can see her staring at you as her scales begin to fall off and disappear and turn into liquid gold, covering the bed. And all you see is the flesh underneath, and she's still staring at you with scared, terrified eyes. Blal, help me, Blal. You also take a fuck ton of psychic. Gosh, damn it. <laughs> as he casts Phantasmal Killer on you. Nice. That sounds nice. Bad. And you take 35 psychic Fuck, damage. That's a good number of it. Ah. It is a good amount of damage, and that's not it. Uh, that's I'm not all of it? Of this. Oh my god, V. <laughs> At the end of each of the target's turns, before the spell ends, it's a concentration minute. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or take 4d10 psychic damage each turn. <sighs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Hey. You guys just see a reflection. For those of you who know him well, you see a reflection of gold in his eyes, and it's not difficult for you to put together the pieces. Pinter is a little more difficult. Uh, maybe he's just seeing gold. You're not really sure, but he has this terrified look on his face. It super doesn't look good. He's bleeding uh, everywhere. Everywhere. Um, Sultana, it's your go. Yay, I finally get to do something. <laughs> I'm fucking ready. Do the thing. Do the first thing. Oh, the valve amnity. Please. <laughs> Please, it's important. Get the fuck out of my house, valve amnity. <laughs> <laughs> Tear his you. You may be asleep. Your mouth may not be moving. Everyone else is like twitching and kicking and doing stuff. You are physically not moving at all, but here he still hears your cry of get the fuck out. Um, and thus, empty was fouled upon the salmon. <laughs> um, all right. I wish that whatever happened that gave me three attacks last time would happen again, but I'm just going to attack him twice. And I have, uh, do I still have advantage on my attacks? I can never remember what was... Yes, well, you, you have an enmity attack. She fouled enmity. Yeah. Yay. So the first one is a 24. Uh, that one hits. And the second one is a 25. That one also hits. <laughs> um, I am going to do... I'm going to call, as I'm doing my, my smite, just for flavor... I'm not just going to yell for tear. I'm also going to yell for ill mater. Oh, God damn it, girl. Uh, roll a religion for me real quick. Because he, because I'm going to say, this woman belongs to ill mater. You have no power here. And then. Okay. That's a 19 religion. Yep. Uh, ill mater, here's your call. I don't know if it's, it doesn't probably doesn't do anything fancy, but I'm I'm gonna not for you. It doesn't bring down the holy yes. thunder at level three because I can do that. Wait, no, I'm gonna do it at level two because in case I need to do my aura. Uh huh. <laughs> That's a twelve, an extra twelve. So I'm okay. only smiting on the first one. So yep, that's fine. That's twelve plus thirteen plus twelve. All right, there are a couple Roll of super D8. good. Uh, yeah, because it's a higher level than that. Plus one. <laughs> hey, it's I something. Tried. Every every point of damage counts. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we have 13, so that's 25 plus 13. 38. Yeah, so it's 38. Um, you call Tear and you call Ilmeter to your side. Um, you feel Tear's influence through your dream replica of uh, Kalinmorn. All of you also hear a variety of screams coming in your ear from everyone who's around you. Um, as clearly some sort of lightning flash goes off in the real world. Um, they're, they're really fucked up on their side. <laughs> they've been assaulted with fire, people kicking them and now like tears holy thunder. We holy warned shit. them! Yeah. We're going to wake they back up and it's going to be like that scene from the community where fucking Troy walks in with the pizzas and everything's on fire. <laughs> All of yeah. our friends are going to be dead. We're going to wake up and everyone's dead. That's why I'm saving my revivify. Good, because okay. I can't. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay, then. Cool. Cool. That was a, that was a good round. That was a beautiful round. Um... 
All right, top of the round, balance. Hi. Oh, uh, hang on, I need to make the ro roll the con saves for okay. it. Because you hit it and it's concentrating on Phantasmal Killer, so I just need to check. All right. Whenever you take damage while you're concentrating on a spell, you must make a con saving throw to maintain your concentration. DC 10. Uh, DC equals 10 or half the damage you take, whichever is higher. So for the first one, uh, so it's 12 plus uh, 13 plus 13. So 26, half is 13. So it needs to be 13. <laughs> which it does. And the second one is 12. So yeah, it needs to be a 10. Which it does. Being hit by holy thunder and being set on fire seems to phase this thing little. Um, all right, balance. What do you want to do? All right. Uh, so, just so I recall correctly, so Rawl is frightened. Yes. I think that just means he has disadvantage on his attacks, right? He uh, means he can't him. move closer to the target. But he's already next to it, so it doesn't matter. Yep. Balance is going to use his other new ability. Okay. And uh, Balance is going to look at the salmon and say, you may control people's dreams, but I control people. And he's going to throw his hands out and a bunch of little uh, purple tendrils of like string uh, will fly out to each of his friends and his brother too, I guess. Oh, thanks. And he's going to essentially cross his arms across in front of him and use overwhelming attack. Okay. As an action, choose up to five allies you can see within 60 feet. Each of those allies can use their reaction to take the attack action. So Zoltana, Rawl, Pintor, and the Fire Elemental all get to attack it. And it's an attack action, which means you can do the full spiel. Oh, so as in like I can do both of I can do two attacks? You can do two attacks, you can smite the whole fucking nine yards. Alright, so let's start with Pintor. So that was a 12 to hit. And that misses. Uh, let's do Zoltana. Both with advantage, remember. Uh, yep, yep. So the first one's a 20 to hit. Or 21 to hit. Uh, that hits. And the second one's a 25 to hit. And that one also hits. Um, let me just... Uh, yeah, so being puppeted like puppets. Um, Sultana slashes twice and hits twice. Um, that's for 25 in total. Any smites? Yeah, I'm smiting, but I'm smiting at a first level. I'm trying to be like smart about my smites but that's still an extra 11 so I that's whatever that was plus 11 yep. nah. alright I need to do the con checks hang on a second let me just check what my con is god damn it alright so the first one was 12 plus 11 so that makes it 23 so that makes it 11 which it passes and the other one is 14, half to seven, so it has to be a 10. And it meets it just. <laughs> just hits the 10. Okay, uh, next up is Ral. You are at disadvantage because it's in your line of sight. Now, does this enable me to use stillness of mine? No, you okay. just have an attack action. Okay. So you can do disadvantage. two right. punches. I get Two punch. Disadvantage. 16 to hit for 9. That 15 hits. 15 to hit for 8. That hits. Um, so you do a couple of good punches somewhere at like hip level. Um, that's for 17. All right. And then I believe it's your fire elemental, right? Yep. Um, it needs to make the, the two con saves for the two hits there as well. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, both 10. All right. Natural 20. Fuck. Natural one. Hey. hey! I knew one of those would work. Finally fails. <laughs> that was my whole plan, was to break his concentration by literally just swarming him with people. Swarm him! Uh, and now you can hit him fire. with your fire elemental, yeah. Fire elemental, punch number one to, let's say, the shin. Sweet. 21 to hit for 10. Uh, yep, that's, that's definite. It's not as effective as you want it to be, but yes. And the second one, back of the knee. 
24 to hit for seven. Yes, again, not as effective as you'd want it to be. But nice. Um, that's a fair amount of damage. It's still on fire, by the way. Like It, it is. It gives no fucks. <laughs> <laughs> it just gives zero fucks about this. Uh. Um, and then that's Balance's turn. <laughs> that is Balance's turn. That that sentence right there. Oh, I love All you right, guys. Pencil. It's now your go. All right. Let's see if Roll20 will be nice to me finally. Probably not. Please. Uh, so I'm going to attack with my rapier again. Hey, that's something. That's a 25 to hit. Uh, does that include your sneak damage? It does. Okay. Yeah, deal 25 well, to hit with 20 piercing damage. Well, uh, it, it's definitely that. Um, it is, however, uh, stuff of dreams, made partially from dreams and imagination. The Sandman takes only half damage from critical hits and from sneak attacks. All right, then. All of that attacks damage is halved, and not just the bonus damage. So it only takes 10 on this round. All right. You did some. That's it's fine. okay. I did some damage. It's okay. I actually hit this time, so I'm you proud did, of that. You did some hurt. You did some I hurt. I poked him so in the toe. <laughs> you poked him in the toe. <laughs> you literally, like, you get it under the toenail. Oh. I'm just like, <laughs> uh, off well, why would you say that? Now I'm in pain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I believe that will be my turn. Okay. Uh, cool. Cool, cool. Uh, it's now your fire elementals go. Fantastic. Fire elemental is going to... Uh, Jump up and kick it in the elbow. Okay. Uh, 15 hit for 13 fire damage. Yes. And then on the way down is going to punch him in... I don't know, let's say like the thigh. Why not? <laughs> 21 to hit for 9. Yes. Uh, again, not as effective as you'd want it to be. This yes. fire elemental is consistent, though. It's doing some damage. Pa <laughs> um. pa 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 pa. You guys are doing you guys are doing some good damage to it. It's looking unhappy right now. Um All right, Ryle. Good, fuck it. I don't want it to be happy. Oh my goodness. I keep getting it so is, scared. You'll go. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you put uh, concentration I, on that though? Yeah. You're good now. Yes. You're no longer you're scared. Ah. Uh, nope. Not scared and you're not going to take a buttload of damage. Ah. Uh, all right. 15 to hit for 7. That hits. Where are you hitting it? Uh, oh, God. He's not bouncing on the bed anymore. I'm just going <laughs> to kick him in the hip. Sweet. Is he an old man? Does he like break a, his hip? There's a singe mark right there, and then you just get right there. Yeah, Rawl's <laughs> Rawl just kind of tr trying to aim for the meteor sensitive parts at the moment because he doesn't want to like <laughs> look at it too much yeah he, yep. yeah he wants to get the big easy to punch parts for the moment so he can give himself a breather so yeah uh another 15 to hit <laughs> for nine yes a 24 to hit for nine yes and an 18 to hit for nine yes <laughs> i'm not i'm not gonna stunning strike it's just not working. damage for 43 damage. My god. Wait, hold. No, I don't. Um, no, hold on. Math. 9, 18, 9, 18 27. 43 30, okay. 30, 34. 35. 35. No, 34. Okay. I think Blonda's yep. number was right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. I think it was more in the 85 range. <laughs> I think it's more like the entirety of his health range. Yeah, right. right? How much health does he have left that? In like the. <laughs> Yeah, I mean his max HP plus one. Yeah, no, no his max HP twice because then he's definitely then he's dead. Immediately dead. dead. Mm. It's immediately fucking dead. I'm just um, punching his abs. Does the Sandman have nice abs? I feel like no. No, he probably has like abs made of like guts that look like worms and something spooky. That's shadow cool. abs. Shadow abs. Okay, hey, uh, it's now the Sandman's go. The Sandman lifts his hands high and he starts making weird little swirly patterns of red. Son and of a purple bitch! And dark blue. <laughs> Stop doing that. I need all of you to make a wisdom save, please. No. Uh, the two elves get advantage. <sighs> Roll an eight. Nope. <clears throat> Fail. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. We have Zoltan Azora. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, he still fails, though. I'm, um, I'm failing. Okay, so... 17. Um, 25. Well, you are... 
Uh, incapacitated well, and zero. <sighs> Pintor, you're incapacitated and zero. <laughs> uh, Sultana, you give zero fucks about this colour thing. You've seen it before. Didn't impress me the first time. Ain't impressing me now. And the elf uh, balance, you are also fine because of the aura. Whew. Thank tear. Damn mm-hmm. right. And possibly um, a meter? Question mark? Yep. Question mark. Sultana. What is all me- an old meter up to you? Um, Not dying. So the first one is 15, or 25 for 16 damage. <laughs> that hits. And the second one is 27 for 14. Um, as a bonus, I'm going to smite. I'm going to actually... Ooh, I'm going to actually do branding smite instead of regular smite. So that's seven radiant damage. I don't know if radiant damage is going to do anything to it, but I think it just kind of going to look cool. Yep. And then for uh, my movement action, can I go over and like pap Rawl on the face? Like, Nope, it is an actual action to oh. wake someone up from this. But it doesn't matter because it failed its con check. So these two are now awake. Okay, cool. Ooh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Super lucky on that Hell one. Hell yeah. Oh, because it's a uh, concentration as well. Yes, Ooh, okay. it is. Was that a hypno- hypnotic pattern? Yep. So you guys are perfectly A-OK on that. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, balance. Hello. Sure go. Fantastic. Um, me balance has one side point left. So uh, I'm not okay, going to use that. Yeah, why not? Just for the fuck of it. Flavor-wise, Balance is going to just hold another hand out, and a uh, ethereal-looking sword is going to uh, fly out at the Sandman, and he's going to mind-thrust it. Nice. Uh, Needs to make an intelligent saving throw. Super good at that. Got a 16. Failed. DC is 17. Takes 23 psychic damage. As you cast 23 psychic damage at it, it smiles at you and says, Please, I've been doing psychic damage since the beginning of the world. Has no effect. Weird flex, but okay. (laughs) All right, so, uh, hey guys, uh, I'm useless. So, good luck. (laughs) Well, it's good that you figured that out on turn, like, five. I have literally nothing left. That's it. Okay. All right. Uh, Pintor. I'm going to look at that psychic blade that just went through that did nothing. I'm going to go, well, that sucks. Then I'm going to stab him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to at least. Okay. Good luck. 17 damage. Got hit. this. Hey. That hits. So 16 piercing damage. It's As eight, I so it only takes whip eight. the rapier around and kind of like quick slash him like right in the side. Okay. All right, then. Um, You get a good hit in there. It looks super uncomfortable right now. Um, I believe it's your fire elemental ghost still. Uh, I believe it's still up. Yep. All right. Uh, Fire elemental is going to do a one-two into the stomach. Uh, 24 to hit for 11. Yes. And 16 to hit for 14. Yes. Um, So that would be... 13. Uh, something like that, yeah. Uh, it's not as effective as you'd want it to be. <laughs> yes, V, I get it. I am ineffective in this combat now. Thank you. <laughs> this fire elemental is the only thing I have left that can do anything. I was like, well, I'll just sit uh, here then. And just wait. Uh, okay, cool. I love it. Uh, Ral. <sighs> All right, so I start bouncing on the bed again. <laughs> get my height. <laughs> Please, like, power down into his face. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you jump super high. <laughs> Nothing you can make me see that I haven't seen in the real life. And I'm going to punch the living shit out of him for 17, for 8 damage. Yes. 11 to hit. Miss, miss, like, he's like, what is that? Like, his shrug of, like, what the oh, fuck was that? 14 is to hit. Untenable. That hits. Oh, for 8 damage? Yep. 
26 to hit for nine. And I'm going to okay. use a key point to do stunning strike one more time. Uh, What's the DC? I cannot afford to do it, it anymore. It. It's DC 15. Sorry, it makes Shit. it. Shit, okay. That is uh, true. I'm not going to lie. This thing is looking super rough right now. It's, it's super not looking good. Um, all right. What could it possibly do to fuck the most of you over in the shortest amount of time? How about it don't do that? How about it just dies? Immune to psychic damage? That's it just dies. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it I, died, I like that, that would one. really fuck me. It over. would be the really, uh, the most unexpected thing for all of us would be if it just laid down and died. So crazy. Uh, <laughs> Amazing how that works. True. Oh, wait a minute. It takes uh, fire damage. Ah! <laughs> sure. Three fire damage, because it's on fire. It's stupid like it doesn't give a fuck. Um... <laughs> Listen, let me have my moment. Not a lot. <laughs> I feel like at the end of this battle when we finally kill it, it's not even going to die properly. It's just going to sigh its way out of existence. Just going to, ugh, I guess I'll die now. <laughs> and the dreamer wakes. Um, the dreamer does not wake right now. Um, exactly who's going is it? It is now the Sandman's go. And I'm going to look through its list of abilities because I haven't really been using those. Um <laughs> Stay not using them. All right, I I gotta do it one more time. Uh, it's the last time it can do this shit. Um, it looks at balance. It smiles at you and it says, mm, "If you want to do psychic damage, do it properly." And it will make you see. A young woman, a young elven woman standing in front of you. You see a young tiefling woman standing in front of you. You recognize them both. And you see their heads explode and shatter. I need you to take a wisdom saving throw, please. Is this a charm? No. Okay. Not a charm. Uh, that's an 18. Plus Sultana's thing. Uh, success. With that, it just fizzles. You see a momentary illusory version, but to you, they're like cartoons. You see nothing. Balance kind of just kind of waves a dismissive hand, like, sure, sure. <laughs> You're the master of psychic damage, yes, so. Smiles, and it does its legendary action. Stop, stop saying things to it. Every time we say a thing to it, it makes something very mean happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, okay, who's the nearest thing to it? <laughs> you have four. Fucking. Uh, <laughs> Everybody. Rawls, Altana, fire Elemental, you can hit that. A debt. Mm, don't do that shit. Yeah, pretty much everything. I think I want to be an asshole. Balance has moved it to being an asshole. <laughs> All right, it lifts its claws high and it breaks down at a debt. Wow. Let me check, because I have her character sheet, let me check her armor class. Does she even have an armor class in the dream world? I yeah, say you have armor that would not help me. <laughs> Yo. Her armor class is 10 because she has no dexterity. I believe he gets advantage because he's in melee range. Let me just double check. She is prone, so yeah. All right. Okay. He hits her on both of these. She's toast. Do you know what? I'm going to be fair. I'm going to roll this in roll 20 so you guys can see it. The first attack, he sinks his claws into her stomach. And you see a geyser of blood spout out. You see her eyes open momentarily and then close again. Is there anything anyone can do? In what way? Well, his second claw is about to go for her throat. This will kill her because of the double crit, because of the uh, like the the double failed system. Right, and I yeah. So, is the, can I do anything? Like he's. Did this he move is what I'm did asking. Did he technically all, yeah. move away from me to do that? 
he's standing on top of her. He's still on the bed. Is there anything anyone can, can I do? use a reaction to fall prone all over there instead? Take a dexterity I don't have, save. Yeah, I don't have any technicalities. Any like. I was gonna say like I can't really jump in front of the body, can I? Which is the one thing about the D and D system I really dislike is that you can't do heroics. Uh, disadvantage. Uh, dex yes. save. Okay. Yes, please. DC's fairly high. Uh, it's an eleven. Plus three. <laughs> <laughs> you try and fall in front of his uh, claws, but he's just too fast. He sinks something to her throat. And Zoltana, the heartbeat you felt next to yours, goes out. She lets out a blood curdling scream. And because it would now be my turn. Of course. Correct? Yes. She's going to yell out to balance because uh to do something, and then she's gonna rush over and cast Revivify. Oh wait, I don't have diamonds. Fuck me. You do not have diamonds. Just just kill. Just please kill. You have a minute for Revivify. Yep. Twenty and thirteen. So the first slash uh in utter rage. Um Slashes for 12, the second, 13. You're too blinded by rage and you don't hit him. I'm using one of my level three spell slots. How many slots do you have? Two level three spell slots. I'm saving the second okay. one for okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Don't Go worry. Ahead. I'm not being that I'm not being that stupid, but I wanted to do the most damage I possibly could. So that's another 14 damage. That's a total of 26. Why do, I, why do I keep fucking forgetting to hunters mark people? Am I okay? Not okay. I am not Casey, okay right now. Casey, roll a d20 for me. That was not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> for those playing the home game, she just typed in d20. That was not helpful. Oh, it's a good, it's a good roll there, Casey. Ooh. I got a one. Oh. I want a redo. Mulligan. I want to redo because anyone have inspiration to let her redo this? I mean, I'll I give her a point of my lucky feet if I could. Wait, you have the... You can give her all your luck if you want. I'll allow you to trade that to allow, give her one reroll. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll I give her a point of luck. Uh, no, you give her all your points of luck. Okay, because all of them. Be Done. Like this. Yeah. It's, it's a dream world. Fuck it. Uh, okay. Come, Come on, D20. Come on. Come on, roll Above 20. 10. Above I can't team. even. I can't even look. Click sure. Hey, that's better. What is it? It's a sixteen. Okay. As you cry out in rage for your your lost love, you feel tears' influence guiding your hand to reconnect the blow that you missed, and you feel Ilmater's rage flash down your blade, and the Sandman explodes. All of you wake from your dream. So that did not go as planned, obviously. But I'm going to bring her back. I think I'm going to bring her back. I'm not even worried. I'm not. I'm not. I have a spell. I can do it. I wish I could kill the Sandman like five more times, though, because fuck that guy. Anyway, don't forget to check us out on Patreon. Uh, we have a lot of cool tiers, including a shout out. This week's shout out goes to Lexomatic. Lex, thank you so much for uh, your support. And uh, also, thank you to Jay Shuri. As the voice of the alchemist, uh, check Jay out online at Corone underscore BTP on Twitter. Actually, speaking of Twitter, check out our Twitter. It is at TLDPad. We post a lot of updates. Um, we're having a giveaway on there right now, so go check it out. And uh, as always, 
join us in the next episode. Looking forward to seeing you there. Welcome back to... Wait, where am I? What's this? Josh, we need you to record this promo clip. Blah, blah, blah. You better do a good job or we are quitting your BS curse of straw nonsense. Well, uh, I'm not quite sure how to take that, but hey, everybody. I'm the current DM for Taking Initiative, a D&D 5e podcast. We're a bunch of goofs that love the game and wanted to share our play style at the table while still delivering a story you can enjoy and follow, even if you've never played the game before. We're Taking Initiative wherever you get your podcasts, or you can go to the Spark dot network for all other info a cassette tape montage for promo a cassette tape really kent just the man i was looking uh, for i'm so clumsy today <laughs> i'm going to tie the pants around his head so that he can't speak or see it's our scene kent it's our scene and kent halflings in particular small mm. ugly children looking motherfuckers like yourself <laughs> <laughs> They weren't exciting, but they were mine. They were my people. And now they're mine.